Hello and welcome back to Derail Valley Overhauled. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. And today, as the title suggests, we are going to be taking a look at a couple of more mods. So last time, I believe I took a look at the Handbrake mod. I believe that was one of them. I can't remember what the other one was. Handbrake and Couplers, I think, were the two. I can't exactly remember. Correct me if I am wrong. But uh, we took a look at those two particular mods or some other combination of mods. Today I'm going to be taking a look at one of the mods that probably makes the biggest difference to Derail Valley. And that is the Air Brakes Simulation mod. In addition to that, I'm going to be taking a look at the HUD mod. Now, again, installation for these extremely simple download the mod of nexus mods make sure you have the unity mod manager as you do with all mods and once you've located the the folder if you're doing this for the first time locate the derail value folder in your steam drive or in your steam library and then it's a simple matter of drag and drop and it, it literally is self-explanatory it says there drag here to install mods or something like that or drag files here drag zips here that is all you have to do job done and it installs it so I'm going to, for this, probably take this run here. Now, it says 8,500. It isn't a lot, but it is going to be empty. Um, it is going to take 44 minutes, so that should give me enough time to get used to uh, driving this particular particular uh, train with the, with the air brakes and give it a really good... Give it a really good... Um, go I guess now the only thing I need to do is I need to find a locomotive oh you can see the HUD working right there I need to find a locomotive and I need to find a whoa I need to find out where these there they are they're not empty oh that's not them is they they are not empty those ones are the empty ones there we go okay so I've got that. All I need to now do is find a train or find a locomotive because at the moment I have no idea where the nearest locomotive is. And now I'm lost. There I am. Okay. Anything in here? No. Oh, there's a locomotive there. There's one and there's another. So I will be... What I'll do is off camera, in fact I'm going to start this now, but um, I will get this locomotive out of here and I'll have it lined up ready to go and uh, we will we'll pick up the I'll pick up the job and then we'll we'll go from there. Right, is that lined up? No, slightly over. Rubbish. Is, that, is there a hand crank here by any chance? No. Alright. Well, I'll be back in a few seconds, I guess. That is lined up. Okay, here we go. Ready to couple up to this. So, a um, couple of things that I've noticed already. And uh, this is something that is going to end up happening. Uh, brake part, brake bar, brake pipe pressure, and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's that's a thing. That definitely was not a thing before. So, I'm I'm going to have to be very, very careful here. Um, not just with the, not just with the the train brakes or anything like that, but just simply when you start up a train, I had to wait for an age. In fact. I should point out, I did not wait for an age. I thought I was, I thought I'd be okay, and I ended up derailing immediately, which was great. Um, my first derailment. So this is, I would say, this is primarily this whole video is just to give Exia a laugh. Uh, if you guys are unaware, uh, Exia, if you've watched uh, enough Space Engineers, you'll realise Exia works on the on the railways. And since he works on the railways, he knows exactly, um, well, he, he knows exactly how to how to run all of these. Interestingly enough, I mean, my 
Is that that should be released? Yeah. My my uncle also works the railways, and so he knows how to do all of this as well. I only have train simulators as experience and uh, a couple of trains that I've be, been inside, but that is it. This is going to be interesting, to say the least, and I'm going to be taking it rather, rather easy, shall we say, on this. Although this is also going to look absolutely amazing. It's just a shame I was going to download the Class 08 Gronk, but um, I thought it would be too slow for something like this. Slow ourselves down, slow ourselves down, that's it. And we're good, right. Good to hold those brakes. Now, a couple of things that I know first I need to do. I need to ensure that the handbrakes on these are enabled, which for some reason I'm not able to... Why can I not... Why can I not move the handbrakes on these? Uh, don't tell me the handbrakes are down the side for these. Because this is kind of... Oh, well, now I'm in an empty car. Or is it on the back? Ah, it's the back. I need to ensure that these are enabled. So that's fully enabled as I couple these. Because none of these train... None of these... I think two cars... I think two cars should be fine on the handbrake. But none of these are actually have any brakes at the moment. Also, I kind of... I want to be able to get rid of... So I can take uh, a picture. Because that, that could be an awesome picture. In fact, before I do that, let's hook this up. And the reason I need to hook this up first is because... There you go. That's fine. We need to ensure that the brake pipes start charging. Now, or start pressurising, should I say. Now what I want to do is I want to... Try and take a picture, but I want to get rid of... That HUD, just temporarily. Uh, train info, enable. That. That's it. Let's get rid of that. Um, okay. Screenshot time. Because, I mean, that is... Aside from the fact that we have the wrong... Uh, the wrong type of train. Are we, are we okay with the train brake? That's the question. Let's ensure that we do have train brakes on. Right, I'm going to I'm going to have to figure this one out. Let's go ahead and release the handbrakes though. I think that's the handbrake released. So we had two tray two carriages with the handbrake released. Just in case that one had it applied. No, we're fine. Do we have the red light on the back of this? Apparently not. Can I is it because I need to switch on headlights? If I do that, will, will I have a flashing red light on the back? Still not. Alrighty. Right. Okay. Let's go ahead and use one of our other tools, and that's the route manager, to get a new route from, well, from this place to job destination. There we go. Right. And that is built, if I check my map. Where is my map? Why can I not see my map? Uh, I don't need these licenses. What are these licenses? Why are they here? How do I access my... Yeah, you, you just go... You just sit there, trying to find my licenses. I mean, sorry, my map. I seem to have lost my map. 
That isn't good. Can I just press M for map? No, right. Before I go, I need to grab a map because I seem to have misplaced my map. Did, is it on? Is it on in here? No. Where have I left my map? Not left it here. Uh, there should be a bin normally. Lost and found. Here we go. There's my map. I'll take it. Great. Uh, where's my train? Back here. Sorry about that. Right, let's let's get going. So, brakes are released. That's good. My brake cylinder is showing to be 3.57 bar. I do not know if that is good. 5 bar on the brake pipe. That's good. Equalising reservoir 5 bar. That is good. So, there's only one way to find out. Is, and that is not to go backwards. Um, it is to... Ah, that was my... Right, okay. That was my uh, locomotive brake. That was on the brake cylinder. Fantastic. So that is now released. I will now knock it into forward. Switch on my lights. Give it a bit of a horn. And get myself underway. Okay. And this is going to be... I think I can do this in less than 40 minutes, but we shall we shall have to see. It's a it's a long and complicated route that we are going to be taking today. But there are some uphill and downhill sections, which is why I want to I want to uh, use this and do, do this in this particular way. So I want to see what exactly happens. Now, I have no idea what my current speed limit is supposed to be, but we'll just s travel out of here at about 10. That's not exactly where I wanted the... It's, it's really strange just seeing three of these and the fact that they're all massive compared to the compared to the, the train itself or compared to the locomotive oh I didn't know you could tilt like that let's go a little bit more power okay so let's start looking at this HUD then so the air brake simulation of course is is realistic air brakes this isn't something I can show you as such but it is something that we're going to experience but the HUD itself as you can see is really quite useful it's got a lot of information there including the brake pipe brake pipe information which is of course going to be vital for the air brakes but it tells us speeds and where we're headed and all of that kind of stuff which is which is really really nice and I think that is really important the other thing I have noticed a I have noticed a mod that will turn all of this into um, it will turn all of this into miles per hour so that might be something I take a look at now one of the important things about the brake pipe to or the the air brakes mod to to remember is that once you apply the brakes, the train brake, you cannot just disengage and re-engage and disengage and re-engage because that is going to use the reservoir, it's going to bleed, uh, bleed out, it's going to obviously it's going to depressurize. Ooh, it's a gap in the world. And if we depressurize, then we're going to have no brakes. So we have to be very, very careful of that. So what you have to do is, once you apply the train brake, that is it. Then once you let go, that is it as well. It, that is where it's going to start, re, I suppose, repressurizing it. We have to be extremely careful about this. So... Let's let's bring up some of the, some speed and then once I'm once I'm comfortable with that I will 
think I could probably bring myself up to a fair rate of knots and then ease off on the ease off on the power a little. That's will save fuel as well as uh, a lot of other not save fuel, save time, save on engine temperature. I am going to look at putting in uh, the fan mod at some point too, the realistic fans. And obviously there is a si the Derail Valley simulator coming out soon. If I were to drop right now, what would happen to my speed? Well, my speed seems to be holding okay. That's not too bad. So I'll, I'll just potter along at around 60, 68 miles per hour, 67 miles per hour. I'll accelerate a little bit at when, when the time comes. Let's just give it a little bit more throttle here. That tree's in the way. One hundred miles per hour is our speed, but we are certainly not going to be doing that. Just going to bring myself up to about seventy. And then I need to I really need to have a look at the map and how far we are going to be going. There's a it's not too bad. I do like another thing about this HUD is of course it does give us um, a whole heap of information. So there's a 60 coming up, then there's a hundred, and I believe that the speed limit that the speed that we are currently at will have an impact on what colour it shows. Which is really, really nice. Look behind us to make sure the trains are still. The, the carriages are still with us, and they are. Looking for a... a location for a picture. Well, that's too quick. Oh, that's very quick. I must get back on board. Jump on board, there we are. Right. So, a uh, good time to perhaps use the train brake a little. We are still 800 metres from our next, our next speed. But I'm just looking to see it up at, ooh, Okay, thank you. I'm just looking to see the, the warning up ahead. We do not... I cannot see the warning. 400 meters certainly I will now apply so I've applied the the train brake I'm not sure how it's working apparently there we go so you really have to apply it quite a bit and then bring it back into the I think it's lapped position or something so, so you bring it right the way up, then bring it down to the lapped position, and then go from there. But I'll be honest, that was probably a better control of my speed than I have had in a long, long time. And that's saying something. Right, so currently we are, we are going in this direction. Which is absolutely fine. Probably should accelerate a little and thank you to the people leaving the comments telling me you know to coast the train a bit more I'm starting to get used to that and bringing it to the to the right source of speed uh, going to 60 again and trying to keep it at the right speed you can see the different tracks as well that we're, we're peeling off towards so currently we're on food factory track A and we're going to be going to Coal Mine Track C. I believe that is what that stands for. And then I have no idea what HB is going to be. Let's have a look at HB. What could HB be? Well, I suppose it'd be heading back, but what would it be? No idea. No idea at all. There is a 30 coming up, so this is going to be a good test for my braking. But that is some ways away. 
And also, I'm going to try and use the gradient to my advantage. I know I'm going to be going uphill. There's the gradient. I know I'm going to be going uphill, so I could always use the the gradient to my advantage to slow the train down instead of relying on the brakes which is obviously going to be really important but for now we're going to have to put some put some throttle into this we're, we're really motoring along here very very quickly to be honest this is this is quite impressive I'm just looking at the fuel, looking at the temperature. I see I see the I see the junction that we're going to be struggling with. But this is this is gen generally going rather well. Ease off the power a little. We are at 60. And now if I just drop the power completely let's just watch the speed peel off we may still need our train brakes but I'm hoping I've timed this up so that the train brake usage is minimum as I'm still a little bit concerned over the whole issue of the um, of the air brakes that's what I'm not used to So in a, in a way I'm cheating here, but I can tell you already it it works very very differently. It's extremely extremely different to what it was. Is that my 30 warning? That's a 60. That isn't the one I want. I think I may just have timed this perfectly. I think I may just have. Not, not too shabby. Okay, I didn't time it perfect, perfectly because that was about a hundred meters too, too early. So about three hundred foot too early, but still not bad at all. And I think with all of these additional mods, these air brake mods and all of them, it does make it, it does make mods like the Roots Manager a lot more useful because I no longer have to worry about changing points whilst I'm focusing on ensuring do I have enough brake pipe pressure for example and this is where this is where it's going to be uh, tough there is a bit of an uphill gradient here and I'm just watching out for potential wheel slip but there isn't any wheel slip according to the indicators and of course on the HUD it also has the wheel slip underneath power you can see it's currently zero I doubt I'm going to make any money on this by the way given that I derailed the train at the so I sort of went straight off the end of the I went straight off the end of the turntable and I thought ah that could be a slight problem now I know there's a 50 kilometers per hour sign coming up right there but I think sticking at 40 is probably better because I'm going to accelerate to 50 and then slow back down to 40 and that is it's going to take a lot of effort to accelerate to to 40 let alone 50 at the moment I'm putting in what 370 kilowatts I do wonder if I could change out the um, I, I do wonder if I could change out the units of measurement there for example I would much prefer that to be in horsepower that would be much nicer for me okay now we're in trouble because this is a downhill grade so I need to put that into service and then lap oh, apparently not no give me more brakes there we go and now bring it into lap 
and now I release the brakes now at this point in time I have no brakes as if I remember if I understand correctly so the brakes are releasing and I have I have no brakes at all but we are going uphill so that is is fine and we're doing really really well aren't we I have no idea how long it's been um, but I think it cannot have been more than 15 minutes, right? Since I actually took the job. I think so. Uh, just a bit... need to accelerate a little here. Just trying to work out how much acceleration I need to give. I think we've got a fair... Yeah, let's, let's go for for a little bit. Now my brakes should be fine. So that's the other thing that I obviously have to be very very aware of. What's happened to that pine tree? Whoa, that pine tree is wobbling. Crash. And there you go. Now, as you can see on the HUD, the warning because I'm over 40 kilometers per hour, quite substantially over. It's telling me, um, you know, you do know this is coming, right? As long as it, as long as it isn't a downhill gradient, I should be okay. Otherwise, this train is derailing. I think so far, I'll be honest. I I think I'm doing really well, but I'm having to be a lot more aware. I have to be a lot more cognizant about what is going on around me and that is only a good thing that is honestly only a good thing and there is there are lots more steps that i need to take to do anything for example making sure my handbrakes are released making sure i've coupled up properly making sure my engine i've not um Making sure that I've got my brake reservoir up to up to the right pressure, things like that. I'm having to be a lot more cognizant about everything that is happening, and I like that. I think that's important. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, do not slow down quite that much. Well, we're we're fairly close to our destination, it seems. Only uh, five, five or six kilometers away, perhaps. So a few miles. That's it. Just have to ensure that I keep my speed stable. which I haven't at the moment. But now I should be able to accelerate a little. Yes, thank you, autosave. And we've got a 60. I mean, this, this looks fairly, fairly decent. I think if we take it up to about 60 and then we'll slow it back down to 50 should the shouldn't the need be oh there's some slip the light came on and it told me on the HUD that that was pretty good lots of information there immediately lights light on just down down there the sound from from the wheel slipping and immediately percentages going up on the HUD lots of information there that was really really nice and at a glance, I knew where to look. I do like the design of this HUD. It's a very simple Unity app, really. It's a standard Unity thing. Kerbal Space Program used to have these everywhere. If you've watched any of my old Kerbal Space Program videos, this was everywhere. And it was pretty good. Uh, yes, temperature. Temperature warnings. That's not a problem for now. I will, I'll have the temperature dropping off 
momentarily. I'm just going to switch on the fan just in case anyway. Just in case that does anything. Right, I'll just drop that temperature. You just sit there. I know I'm going to slow down, but I really, really need to ease off on this temperature. And let the temperature ease off, I'll pick up speed again and then we'll we'll go from there. It looks like there is a it's it could potentially all be uphill, which is going to be a problem for this train, but but I think I can manage it. ensure that no watch the wheel slip if I can bring myself back up to about 50 and then try and balance the temperature there we should be okay so we've just passed into a 50 kilometer per hour zone anyway 30 miles per hour or 31 miles per hour Yes, yes, I know, I know. And obviously this is a... Uh, the, the reason we're having this trouble, or I'm having this trouble, is because the grade is, or was, pretty severe. Now we are going straight. And we're going to be going up a grade again. And then we're going to be going up an even sharper grade, or a steeper grade. But then it looks like we're going to be stabilizing and then going down. Now this is where it's going to get interesting. The downhill grade using the train brakes once again. So let's use this. Let's use what we've got here to pick up some speed as much as we can before we have to ease off. Well, watch that wheel spin. We will probably still be running the train a little hot for a short period of time. Yes, I know, I know. Just just deal with it for a moment whilst we go up this grade. Then it is going to ease off. And then as the grade eases off, we should be able to ease off on the, on the power. And we should be able to bring those temperatures down. That's the plan, anyway. But we are really heading towards um, the, the red here. So I'm going to ease off now, actually. Just to, just to bring those temperatures down. I am, I am pushing this train hard. It's got plenty of torque. Uh, just just not enough power to really do the, do the high speed stuff and obviously it has a really steep grade here and that that is going to be difficult for it where are we we're almost there as long as we do not crawl all the way so that's where it's towards the iron ore mine so that's fine that looks like that is even steeper This is a little bit better here, but again, temperature-wise, we're going to struggle. We're supposed to be doing 60, we're only doing 20, if that. Let's accelerate a little, though, because we do have, of course, the downhill gradient, as I said. We will probably use that to speed the train up, but similarly, we are going to have to think about bringing the train back. Okay, downhill grade coming up very, very shortly, so this will help us. Not only with fuel economy, but with temperatures. 
I just have to manage the next 300 meters or so. So into just sort of through this, through this um, gorge in the cliff. Ooh, looks like some texture, some weird textures over there. Yep, that rock looks a bit strange. And now, if I just release, let the let the temperature slow down, let the train speed up, and I have to be very, very careful here. So, first off, I am picking up speed quite substantially, and 60 is what I want to be doing. So, bring those That's not what I meant to do. I meant to have it in lapped. There we go. Hopefully that holds. I'm hoping that holds. I can see the brake pipe pressure going down whilst I'm holding it. Let's increase some of that and bring it back into lap. Nope. I really need a lot more brakes there. Lap. Again, I really need to watch that brake pipe pressure. Okay, let's let it release and let the brake pipe pressure come back up. Which it looks like it has and I've managed to keep control of my speed. That's actually, this is not easy. This is genuinely difficult. Because, I mean, th the train brake runs much more realistically now it's it's really impressive but again look we're going we're, we're picking up to 60 bring that brake pipe down uh oh go on hold that that's holding 65 just about just about I need more. But I am I am running low on brakes. Nevertheless, I need to slow this down. Okay, I can now release brakes there. Now, I'm just wondering because that seems to snap straight back up to 5 bar. That doesn't seem right. I thought it's supposed to slowly come back up nevertheless I'm going to make the most of whether this is a glitch or not I'm going to make the most of it I think I'm here by the way oh hang on I need to figure out where I'm supposed to be stopping Where's my... C1S, this is it. Stop, train, stop. Train, stop. Train, stop. Train, please stop. Train. I mean, I made it right. Okay. So I, I, I need to. I know I need to put handbrakes on now. Just put the front and rear. Now I can knock it out of gear. Switch shut off. Switch shut off. Switch shut off. Um, locomotive brake goes on. Train brake can come off. You can actually hear the brakes going through. That's awesome. Um, and then... There we go. That was probably the wrong one to press, but... Uh, that's fine. Do that, do that. Do that. 
Release. Now, handbrakes are definitely on, so this is not going to roll back. Now all I need to do is find the station office, which... Uh, station office, station office. Where could that be? Where? This is like the middle of nowhere, is this it? Yeah, I mean, this, this looks like it could be it. Yep, this is it. And there's my job. Th 37 minutes? That's not bad. Um, so, not bad at all. And I can take the 12,000 that I had. But that's how much I have to pay for this particular... So, realistically, I did not get much because I've got to pay for this. Now, yeah, I do not have the manual... Unfortunately, I do not have the manual um, servicing yet, do I? In fact, if I have a look at licenses, let's just have a quick look. I could afford a manual service if I wanted to. Where would I even service the train here? I have no idea. What do I have available from this, from the yard? Coal to the steel mill. Pretty heavy train. I doubt I'm going to be able to do that. Stop doing that. That's what I want to do. How much is a license for the other train? Um... 200,000, that is not happening. Well, at that point, I think that has given you a fairly good uh, fairly good introduction, I suppose, to... Where is the train? Fairly good introduction to the to the air brakes mod. It's pretty it's pretty realistic. It's very interesting. I want to drive this train. This is what I want to drive. It is it is a very very interesting mod. Uh, very useful. Oh, here's the manual stuff. Cool. Very useful, and it just adds a lot to the immersion of, of this title, which is. I think incredibly incredibly important so do I recommend it yes I do very very much so with that I am going to end this video thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on derail valley overhauled and then of course derail valley simulator leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think and any mods you think I should take a look at if you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me. I'll see you next time in Derail Valley overhauled. And uh, there we go. Hey, look, I'm playing Call of Duty. This is Rust.